Meet Kevin Jordy Walker, the influential guitarist of Killing Joke. Explore the formation and history of Killing Joke, the band that Kevin Jordy Walker was a part of. Witness the impact of Kevin Jordy Walker's influential guitar sound on the music industry. Acknowledge the passing of Kevin Jordy Walker and share in the sadness of his loss. Discover the musicians who were influenced by Kevin Jordy Walker's talent and guitar sound. Hear from legends like Metallica, Jimmy Page, and Kevin Shields as they praise Kevin Jordy Walker's musical influence. Remember Kevin Jordy Walker's guitar sound that defined a generation of music lovers. Witness a montage of Kevin Jordy Walker's performances and the heartfelt tributes from his fans. Reflect on the legacy of Kevin Jordy Walker and the impact he had on the music industry. Join us in honoring Kevin Jordy Walker's memory and share your own memories of his incredible talent. Let's remember Kevin Jordy Walker, the influential guitarist of Killing Joke, and the mark he left on music history. To Yellowstone National Park, a place of natural beauty and diverse wildlife. But beneath the surface, a silent killer is threatening the very fabric of this iconic ecosystem. In the heart of the park, a mule deer succumbed to a long-dreaded disease, chronic wasting disease, CWD, the first confirmed case in this nature reserve. CWD, caused by prions, has been spreading stealthily across North America, affecting deer, elk, moose, caribou, and reindeer. The prions cause changes in the host's brains and nervous systems, leading to symptoms like drooling, lethargy, and a blank stare, earning it the moniker, zombie deer disease. With no known treatments or vaccines, CWD poses a significant threat to the wildlife population. The discovery of CWD in Yellowstone is a wake-up call, highlighting the ecological implications of this disease. The park, known for its diverse array of large wild mammals, is now at the forefront of observing the impact of CWD on its ecosystem. Dr. Thomas Roth, a vet and former chief of animal health for the Fish and Wildlife Service, emphasizes the importance of addressing the spread of CWD. The disease's presence in Yellowstone has brought widespread attention to its potential consequences. The slow-moving disaster of CWD, as described by Dr. Michael Osterholm, raises concerns about its potential to jump the species barrier, affecting livestock, other mammals, birds, and even humans. The possibility of a spillover case is a significant concern. Dr. Rainer Plowright, a disease ecologist, underscores the importance of viewing CWD against the backdrop of dangerous emerging zoonotic pathogens. The implications of CWD extend beyond wildlife, affecting human health and the food supply. As the hunting season begins, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and individual states recommend testing harvested game animals for CWD. The Alliance for Public Wildlife estimates that thousands of CWD-infected animals are consumed annually, posing a significant public health risk. The spread of CWD is a growing concern, with infection rates on the rise. The confirmation of CWD in Yellowstone has prompted a revision of surveillance strategies and a focus on addressing the disease's impact on the park's wildlife population. The controversial practice of artificial feeding of wildlife by humans, particularly in Wyoming, is a significant concern. Studies suggest that predators such as wolves, cougars and bears play a crucial role in detecting and removing sick animals from the landscape. In conclusion, the threat of CWD in Yellowstone is a call to action for wildlife conservation and disease management. The implications of CWD extend beyond the park, impacting the broader ecosystem and human health. It's time to address this silent killer before it's too late.